mean. Mean one? Oh, you're a mean one. Uh oh, Mr. Grinch. Hey guys, so today I'm actually headed to a Christmas parade this evening and I wanted to get ready and do a real Christmassy look for you guys. One that was probably not something that is revolutionary or different than a lot of things you've seen, but I wanna do like a real glittery eye, minimal on matte shadows, just real glittery and with a big like sexy slutty wing and then beautiful lashes and I want to do a red lip and the red lip that I want to try today is actually from Lisa Eldridge she launched three different lipsticks I bought all of them on launch day because they look absolutely stunning I don't know if you guys have seen these but they are velvet textured on the outside and they are all in three different red shades so they're suitable for legitimately any skin tone look at the outside of this lipstick I don't know if you can see it See how the outside of the lipstick looks like a velvet? It has a velvet texture like I've never seen before. I think it's the first of its kind. You can see that the application spot is a bit shiny and then the back has this really cool texture. I'm so shaky. So I'm gonna try these out today or at least one of these. I wanna do a really bold red lip. So I'm just gonna get started on the makeup tutorial and get going. I think for this look, I am going to just hop right in and go. Wow, that was fast. I'm gonna do a little bit of concealer on my eyelids. I'm not gonna do like much because again, I'm just gonna be mainly focusing on glitter. So I don't want the base of my lids to be like caked in concealer. So I just did a little dab of the ColourPop No Filter to block out my veins and things like that. I exfoliated the literal crap out of my face this morning. Maybe I'll throw a little moisturizer on. This is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Cloud Cream. And I think I'm just gonna toss a little bit of this on so that I'm moisturized. If you guys have not yet, make sure to subscribe. Uh, I upload new videos. Oh often. So I think for my eyes today, like I said, I'm just going to stick straight with glitter and I want to use these little makeup forever starlet powders. They sent over a few of these and you can see one of them exploded in the box. So they're, they're a little bit glittery, but I want to go in with these. These are truly on camera. We'll never do them justice in low light. These look stunning, which is why I wanted to wear them tonight because like I said, I'm going to a Christmas parade. I just, I don't know. I just want to feel Christmassy, okay? I'm really into Christmas this year. I, 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 I just like it, right? I'm not sure which color I want to use. They are all truly like the most glittery. I wish the camera could do it justice. These are not liquidy. They are a dry glitter. But I feel like that's exactly the look. I don't want to go for something heavy. I want to go for something that's really dispersed out so that when the light hits it, it's just like super glitter. That one is stunning. It doesn't have any color. So this one is sort of just like a whitish glitter. The one I just showed you was 101. And now I'm going to see what 102 looks like. Oh yeah, I think this one. This one is a very similar look, but it has a bit of warmth to it, like a golden undertone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm looking for. The packaging has this little hole in the center. I think the best way to use it would be to flip your finger over on it and, oh my God, can you see that? And then I guess I'm just gonna pat it on. I don't know how this is gonna stay, if it's gonna come off all over my eyes, if it's going to fall all over my face. I've never used these before, but they're just, they're so beautiful. I have a feeling. I don't like I don't know how you're supposed to adhere these. Like do you put them over a glitter primer? Do you just pat them over a sticky base kind of like I'm doing? I don't know. I'm not really worried about it. Even if it does get all over my face, like what's the worst that could happen? I have a glittery face. I'll cry about it. Glitter in low light, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, it is truly 10 times more beautiful at night than it is in this bright light. I always thought glitter would be different because it reflects the light, but it's like a Christmas tree at night versus during the day, you know? So I think that's what I wanna do. It's so simple. You don't always have to do some like crazy cut crease in order to make your makeup look like really intense. So I'm gonna try this liner out. This is from Pure Cosmetics and this is one of the, I think it came in like the Grinch collection and this is the Mean. Mean one? Oh, you're a mean one, uh-oh. 
Mr. Grinch. I love the packaging. It's real Christmassy. It's real pretty. We'll see. I think this is matte. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and let it dry down. So I do believe this is a matte black, which I don't like a patent leather or shiny black eyeliner. I don't know about y'all. I'm doing a big straight wing today because I want it to be really um, dramatic looking. Me and drama. <laughs> well, I feel like that applied very easily. It is not a brush tip, it's a felt tip, but I do feel like it stayed nice and crisp. It didn't like start to get too big or blumbly or anything like that. Well, that's a nice wing. That's exactly the type of wing I was going for. Now let's be real. I will not be able to recreate that exactly on the other side. That's the most frustrating part of a friggin' wing. <sighs> it's so frustrating. I'm not gonna be able to do it. You know what? I will be able to do it. Are they close? I don't know. I feel like this one is thicker than this one. I don't know. All right, well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on. I do think that glitter looks really pretty and at night that's gonna look so gorge. It doesn't look matte, but that's because a bit of glitter is shining through this liner, but it's actually not bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toss a pair of lashes on real quick and then <laughs> move on to the rest of the face. That's all that I have to say about that. All right, so I tossed my lashes on. I'm not certain what lashes these are because they were just sitting on my counter. That that happens to me a lot. So I'm not certain on what these are. I apologize for not knowing. They are beautiful though. I really love these like wispy sort of lashes that are, they're not like so spiky. They just sort of softly wisp up. Love it. So I'm gonna toss some black eyeliner on. This is the Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Obsidian. I've mentioned this in a few videos recently because this is my favorite black eyeliner. And I tweeted at Makeup Geek because when I went to go look on their site, it was not listed on there anymore. And Marlena, the owner of Makeup Geek, said that it's gonna come back. Same formula, but retractable, so you don't have to sharpen it, which would be really nice. And it will be launching, I think, in store, like Target, sometime soon. So keep an eye out for that, but it is currently unavailable. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful black eyeliner. But I think second to this, probably my favorite black eyeliner would be the LA Girl Glide On Gel Liner. So good as well. So I'm gonna line my upper waterline. and my lower waterline. I like to do both. On the outer corner, I like to connect that lower black waterline in with the wings so that it just kind of goes up. I think that a lot of people say that they don't like how black liner closes off the eye. That's exactly what I do like about it. I think a lot of people have differing opinions. Mine is that I just think it makes you look kind of sexy. Like, look at the difference. Like, this side, I feel like I look like bright-eyed, and this side, I look like a bitch. Other than mascara, this is what I'm gonna do to the eyes. I'm gonna move on to the skin now. And for that, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of a concoction. But I think today I'm gonna mix this in with a bit of L'Oreal Pro Glow. This is the shade 034 Medium Beige. And then Pro Glow is the shade 203. So I'm gonna do a little combo of these. a lot of foundation, but I'm gonna bring most of this probably down my neck because I really like to blend it down. But it won't really matter tonight because I am going to be outside in the freezing cold, so I'm gonna be bundled up. You won't see my neck. The reason I wanted to mix these foundations today instead of just going in straight with the L'Oreal Pro Glow or the other is because I love the coverage of the Catrice. I love the coverage of both, but I like the glow of L'Oreal Pro Glow a lot, but sometimes it's a little too glowy and I think the Catrice is a little too matte. So I am just sort of mixing the two to see if it creates like a nice combo. All right, I like the way that looks. It looks nice so far. 
do a little ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the shade, I think it's medium 25. For any of you maybe that are just stumbling upon my channel and you don't know, this is the IT Cosmetics Love is the Foundation brush, which has become just one of my favorite brushes. That looks really nice. All right, I'm gonna let that set for a few minutes and while that is drying down a bit, I'm going to do my brows. As you guys know, I'm using the same product that I've been using for like the last six months. This is the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Pen. This is the shade Fling. Now I'm gonna to toss in a little boy brow from Glossier, and this just adds a bit of tint to your brows, defines the hairs, it has some sort of fibrous material in it, so I really like it to set the brows in place. It has a really nice hold to it versus other brow products that I've tried. I just think this one's probably one of the better ones I've tried. Initially I wasn't all that impressed by it, but I really do like it now. I feel like the more you try, the more you realize that it does hold really well. All right, and now that my face is done, I can finish off my eyes so I don't forget the mascara, and I'm gonna use the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara on the top and bottom. I think the nice thing about setting your face is that if you have an area that messes up or something, a part of doing my makeup that used to stress me out was that when I used to set my face with powder, once it's powdered, it's sort of locked in. If you need to kind of move some cream product around or if something messes up, you kind of have to start over. At least I used to have to start over. And now that I don't set my base, you can sort of just go over areas that you've already gone over with your brush. Like this area got a little smudge on it so I can just take my brush and tap back over it. If I had already set my face, I I'm kind of screwed. So that's something that I think I prefer the most about not setting my face is that I don't have that problem anymore. If it starts to look a little crummy throughout the day, you can just go into the bathroom, tap it out, add a little bit more product, and then you're good to go. But if you've powdered your face, there's that line of demarcation between powder and cream product that you can't really, I mean, you can if you're really careful, but I don't want to have to be careful. I just want to be able to do it. All right, so I'm gonna go with my little Pure Cosmetics and the Grinch brush. I really like this brush. I feel like for bronzer, it really is beautiful to blend out. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour Palette. This is from the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions review. If you guys haven't seen it, it'll be linked up here. Anyway, I'm gonna go in with probably these shades here and maybe this one and just really bronze up the perimeter of my face. A lot of people say like when you don't set your base, is it hard to blend out product? Not really, I I don't know, I've never experienced it. I just sort of tap it in and instead of like really buffing it, I mean, you can kind of do it all, but I don't know. A lot of people are really pro using powder and I used to be, I used to set my entire face, I used to bake my entire face, but I just think for me personally, looks a bit more youthful on me when I don't set my face, not that youthful is like to be sought after, but that's kind of the look that I prefer is just like fresh and dewy versus really matte skin. I don't know. I just like the way it looks and it looks better throughout the day on me. I don't look as dry because I do have dry skin. So that's why I tend to really gravitate towards dewy products because, well, there's no really reason because, because I just like it, okay? As if any of you were arguing with me. Some people like to make their skin really pale during this time of year if you are really light like me. I am completely different. I still like to look bronzy and glowy during the winter. I think that a lot of people tend to gear more towards matte skin and not bronzing up their face as much this time of year. But for me, I completely disagree. I don't really care about what time of year it is. I always wanna look like it's summer. I don't contour my nose, but lately I have been sort of taking the bronzer down on the bottom of my nose because I always usually leave the center of my face out. And I do notice that sometimes my nose can kind of get lost in photos. I don't contour my nose because I already have a really narrow nose. So contouring it just makes it look odd. I know some people really like that's their favorite step of their routine. For me, I just feel like it, I don't know. I don't, I don't care. And I think for highlight, again, I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow Highlighter. This has been just such a go-to for me lately. I think it's just so beautiful.
You don't have to go as glowy as me if you don't want to. I completely understand. I know that I take it to the next level, but I'm a next level kind of bitch. So I think I'm gonna go with this Hourglass palette, actually. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 4, and I think I'm gonna take these bottom shades down here, probably primarily these two, and blush. This is the second time I've used these and I do feel like because they're shimmery, sometimes they can tend to look a little bit patchy. So this is what I mean when I say not setting your face is beneficial because then I can take my little foundation brush and just gently tap over it to calm down those areas. And if I had powdered the crap out of my face, this probably wouldn't work so well. All right, and now I'm gonna move on to the lips. So I got three different shades. Well, I bought all three of the shades from Lisa Eldridge and this is the shade Velvet Morning. I think this is the one I'm gonna go with because it is just truly beautiful. I cannot wait to see what these look like on the lips. This is the shade Velvet Ribbon. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. They're all unreal. I think Lisa Eldridge is unmatched. Like there's something about her that I find so soothing. I love watching her videos. I think her skills and just her demeanor and she seems like such a kind person, like just unmatched really. She's such a beautiful human being. That's why I wanted to support her immediately because people like her are who should be coming out with makeup products, you know what I mean? Ooh, and this one is so gorgeous. Wow, this one is called Velvet Jazz. Oh, but now it's to choose between these two. So let's put them side by side. I'm gearing more towards this one, I think. So this is the shade Velvet Morning. Look how absolutely stunning that is. Oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. The fact that this is a bit shiny on the end leads me to believe that they're probably not as matte as I think, but hopefully. All right, I'm ready. <gasps> no, these are matte, these are matte. So incredibly beautiful. I know my lines look like crap. I'm gonna go in with a lip liner and really clean up the edges. I like to sometimes do my lip liner last, but I'm gonna do a little bit of this shade as well, just, just because this is the shade Velvet Ribbon, and I think I'm gonna kind of like ombre the edges. All right, now let me grab a red lip liner and I'm going to just clean up all the lines. Perpetual Fire from Makeup Forever. A lot of times the reason that I like to do my lip liner second when it comes to like a red lipstick or something is because I can sort of like push the product around and get it a lot more even. You can do that beforehand if you want, but I just sort of like to like move the product around with the pencil. I overline my lips quite a bit because I don't love the size of my lips, but I don't want to get filler. So I just like to overline my lips, but you guys don't have to if you don't like to, if you think it looks stupid. You know, it's your life. And you know what, just for fun, I think I'm gonna take that other color. This was the shade Velvet Jazz, and I'm gonna run that along the center of my lips. And while I love the matte look of these lips, they are truly matte. They're so beautiful and velvety. They feel really comfortable. I can feel them on the lips, but they don't feel like hideous or overly so, but I love a gloss glossy red lip. I think this is such a beautiful matte lip on its own, but I want to gloss it up a little bit. So I'm gonna go with the Lancome Rosy Plump Gloss. I'm gonna do my hair off camera and everything like that because I wanna go get ready. Make sure to follow me on Instagram so you guys can see the finished photo. This is the finished makeup look. I love it. These red lipsticks, the colors of them are all truly so beautiful, so stunning. I'm gonna swatch them on my hand so you can see them next to each other in difference. I feel like they're such universal reds that literally any skin tone can wear. So right here, we've got Velvet Morning, Velvet Ribbon, and Velvet Jazz. You can see all three of the reds. They are stunning. They are like a soft matte. I wouldn't call them like overly matte. They don't feel uncomfortable or anything like that. And I would imagine this will wear really nicely. I'm truly in love with these colors. And Lisa Eldridge, you guys, if you don't follow her, please at least just go watch one of her videos. I will link it in the description of my video. She has such a soothing and calm demeanor. She seems so kind and knowledgeable and has been in the industry doing celebrity makeup for so long, but doing such a beautiful job. Everyone's face she touches. She does such a natural, beautiful finish. Like I just feel like she's an angel. <laughs>
And uh, if you have not been graced with the beauty of watching a Lisa Eldridge video, I don't think you'll be disappointed. And for her to come out with these, first of all, beautiful packaging, just classy. You've got the magnetic closure. And the fact that the product itself looks like that is, it's so aesthetically pleasing to look at. I didn't even wanna use them because they're just too beautiful. I think these have sold out and I think she said she wasn't initially going to bring these back. She didn't know if she was gonna do like a restock of them. I thought these were a like product that was gonna be around forever, but maybe it's just based on demand, supply and demand. So I would say if you guys are interested in trying these out, let her know because I think that these should be a product that doesn't disappear. <laughs> these need to stay forever because everyone needs to experience this. Like, could you imagine any skin tone this would work on? And it makes my teeth look nice and white. I'm really happy with them. I think they're so beautiful. I love the way this glitter looks. If it does not stay on my eyes, which I imagine it will, I will let you guys know. But as of right now, look how beautiful that looks. All right, well, I'm gonna go run. The parade starts in an hour and it's gonna be crazy down there. So again, I will leave everything linked in the description of this video, all the products that I used, but phew, I'm happy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Okay, so this one, it was 801, the one I did, oh, excuse me. Ah! Tweezers, where are you? Save my eyebrows. And on the outer corner here, I like to, corny? On the outer corny. Hey, Zach. Zach. Hey, Zach. Uh, Great British Bake Off came out with a new uh, thing on Netflix. And it's, Christmas, they brought back a bunch of old contestants and they're baking Christmas stuff. Oh. Christmas. We need to leave at 4.30. This is from the Melt Cosmetics smoke shash, smoke shash, shash. This is from the Melt Cosmetics smoke shash. Oh, fucking A, can I say it? If you guys haven't seen that, it'll linked up here. It'll linked up here. Hey babe, uh, just be ready by like no later than 4.30, but earlier if possible. Well, I tried telling you earlier, but you couldn't hear me. You probably should start getting ready now. Well, you knew we were gonna be there at five. Right? Is there black in my ears? Do I have freckles in it? What the frickin'? Uh, no, I never talked to anybody about it. We talked earlier about going. I don't know. I, I didn't hear a time. Oh, okay. Here's what they look like. This is velvet morning, velvet jazz, and velvet 